Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. I have been trying this product for about four days now, so I have a really good idea of, you know, how I feel about it and if I'd recommend it to you guys. I have it on today and all I have on is foundation and powder. I know, no bronzer, no nothing, I forgot. So while i go finish the rest of my face if you want to see what i think about this then let's go all right guys so as you saw i used the new pat mcgrath labs dark star mascara and before i applied this i actually went in with my sephora lash crab lash craft lash primer and i don't know if they make this anymore it's a decent primer but if I want to use it up that's the only reason why i'm using it you guys know that my ride or die is a dior primer so this mascara is a little bit more of a drier formulation and i did use her original mascara and i think i had said that i wanted to buy it but after using my little deluxe sample size i realized that on me it just transferred a ton and i would get like the raccoon eyes i'd also get the flaking um so I loved the initial impact it made on my lashes, but I didn't like the way it wore. This mascara, however, I have now tried for about four days and I've worn it in really hot weather and I've worn it in cloudy weather, rainy weather. Like I've had a nice variety um, to test this actual mascara and my finding is I really love the way it wears. I love how easy it is also to, to get it off your lid um i didn't do a great job with it today but i find that if i just take my nail and then scratch off um the dry mascara it almost feels a little rubbery this mascara gives you length for sure it gives you some volume it's not as buildable as her original formula but what i do find with this one is that it works better once you let it dry. So after you let your first or your second coat dry, you can go in again and it builds up beautifully. If you try to layer it, like you do your first coat and then go in with a second coat, you're not gonna get anywhere. What I find is that you end up getting these really thin spidery lashes. Like you, in order for it to build up, you have to let it dry. I think she's done a beautiful job with both brushes. I like them. This one has, I don't have, um, her original formula so I apologize this is the the wand on this formula it's a curved brush and I really like a fluffier fuller brush because I feel like it gives me the kind of lash that I like which is I like to have both volume and length this is a dryer formula and I would say that fetishize is also a dry formula but this almost feels like again it feels like a rubbery texture i know that sounds weird um this is not going to run on you this isn't going to flake on you i don't have that issue at all washing it off and getting it off my um, lashes isn't horrible either like it's pretty easy and um I do like it, I enjoy it. Now, I would say that for $30, my concern would be that it's going to dry out quickly because again, it is a drier formula. It's not watery or runny, which I like. I don't like a runny formula, but in my experience, those kind of mascaras tend to dry out a little faster and $30 is a little hefty for something that you're not gonna get a ton of use out of. Now, for me, that doesn't bother me because I always go in with my Inglot Duraline and I'll do two drops of it into my mascara, any mascara, and it extends the wear of it. So it, for me, it doesn't dry out quickly because I'm constantly refreshing it. If you're not somebody that wants to take the additional steps, then you're going to have an issue probably with it drying out quickly and not lasting as long. The other thing I want to note is that this mascara is pretty similar to the Anastasia mascara. And by that I mean you you get pretty similar effects. You get a full long lash. The product is buildable. I didn't have any issues with my mascara drying and actually I just finished my first tube and I've had it for, I'm gonna say over a month. Let me show you, this is the Anastasia wand. And 
you know, this formula isn't as dry as the Pat McGrath formula, but you would still get the same effect, which is a nice, lengthy, separated lash. If you like the effect that the Pat McGrath mascara gave me, then I would highly encourage you guys to check out the Anastasia um, mascara because it, again, it is very similar. Like, even as I was applying it, I'm like, this is what my lashes would normally look like if I was using ABH. If you are wanting a luxurious mascara and if you're okay with spending $30 on the Pat McGrath mascara, I give it two thumbs up. I think it's a beautiful mascara. I think it wears really well. Um, it gives you a nice separated long lash and it does wear all day without you having to worry about any transferring or flaking. It just won't happen. One thing I want to point out with both mascaras is that since the wands are fuller, it is a little bit difficult to get into the inner corner without getting the product on your lid. For me, that's not a big deal because I always go in with my MAC um, Extended Play Giga Black Lash on my lower lashes. And I'll always just kind of hit the inner corner of my uh, lashes because my inner lashes want to come down. The other issue I always have with a fuller brush, which again is something that I'm used to and it doesn't bother me, is that I always get it on my lids. Always. Never fails. I will always get mascara on the top lid across the lash line. Um, again, that's an easy fix, but if it's something that does bother you and if you don't want such a full big brush, then this is not going to be for you. I really do like the formula. I think it's well done. I think that the wand is beautiful. The packaging is you know, a beautiful gold packaging. Like there's nothing about this packaging other than the fact that it's gold and sleek and smooth that makes me think, you know, that it's cheap quality or that it, you know, isn't up to par with the actual cost. The other thing is when you seal it, you can actually feel it click so you know that it's nice and tight. I don't have anything bad to say about this mascara, but I will say that it is a little bit more on the pricier side. So I hope this was really helpful to you guys. Please let me know down below if you guys have tried this mascara, um, if you're wanting to try it, what your overall impression has been. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little post notification bell because I post three videos a week. I work really hard at that. And I don't want you guys to miss it. Also, make sure to like this video because it does help my channel. And I appreciate you guys so much. To my new subscribers, welcome to my family. I appreciate you guys so much. Let me know down below if there's anything that you wanna see from my channel or if you guys have any feedback. You guys know I'm very open to feedback. Um, as long as it's constructive feedback and it isn't mean, we're all good and I'm open. So thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.